Good morning. And before I forget, as I have been forgetting for quite some time, what's the date today? 19th, 20th, sometime or other in September. I can't remember. 18th, I think. I haven't checked yet. I haven't been up long. Um, some people who I spoke with um, at the gym, actually, and sometimes we're cycling, we go out for tea and coffee and walk, etc., um, asked me to make a video and I'm going to I'm going to send it to them individually but I wanted to put it up for, online for anybody else who, who might be interested in it and one in particular whom I hope might be interested in it but we'll have to see um, so this is for the people I've spoken to who are waiting for this video now it's about it's about the training ministry at the Living Stream Ministry <laughs> UK. Now I say this guardedly and I don't want to because this is just such a wonderful ministry um, but if I give you the LSM online um, th there's a lot there's a lot of stuff there and not only is there a lot of stuff there but there's also a lot of criticism from the Lord's enemies and you will see such nonsense about it being a cult and oh you know um, so it's the Living Stream Ministry, lsm.org, which I think I've, I know I have. There's some videos on this channel about the ministry. Fine. Um, but you have to be in it to be interested in it, and otherwise you won't be, you know. Um, so that's fine. If you want to look at the Living Stream Ministry, you will see all its history and origins, what it's doing now. It's based in America, um, and then all the... Um, the Lord's enemies get in and, and they criticise it, bring it down, that there's fraud and, and that it's a cult and all this. But, you know, I can categorically tell you that it is not. Well, I, who knows? Uh, who knows what's happening in, uh, in America? Um, you know, in the UK, the, the sister arm of the Living Stream Ministry, which is on... T on online is called Armana Trust Radio. I'll put the details in the description link. So it's A M A N A T R U S T dot org. And there you will find the UK arm. Now this is where I've been for conferences and for weekends and there are there's masses of things. You know, they do other things all over the country. And it's where you can become involved with other people who are in the churches in the UK. I've just seen there's also a list online now of the churches in the UK following the New Testament example of one city, one church. So it's called the church, the church in London, the church in Coventry, the church in Birmingham. Um, unfortunately, there's not one in Leicester. Um, so... Uh, and then, of course, you are, you are free to attend these churches and, and um, people will may still visit you in your own home or you can go to these churches. And it's the national network of, and from what I experienced, largely, if not totally, born-again Christians, New Testament Christians, all living with such a love for the Lord and enjoying every minute of it, all of whom have had a personal experience of the Lord and have received the Holy Spirit. So that's Armana Trust. If you go to Armana Trust Radio, sorry, not lsm.org, Armana Trust Radio, it will come up with all these things. You can contact someone to arrange to come to your home. And when they come to your home, it's not the Jehovah's Witnesses. They don't try and ch change your mind from one thing to another. They just say, hi, I, I love the Lord. Do you? You know, you you just get together to enjoy the Lord, you know. So the reason for this video is to give the details of the training, which I couldn't remember when I was speaking in person. I, I got the name wrong. Uh, it's Bower House. Bower House in Romford in London um, and if you go to Armana Trust Radio it will come up with Bower House that's the headquarters where the you can go for weekends and uh, week-long trainings generally all year round there's something going on um, 
and it's to mention the two-year training programme. Now, when you go to other house for a weekend or, or, or a week's conference, if you choose to, you will find there are lots of young people milling about, <laughs> um, ushering everybody hither and thither, um, welcoming them and packing their pack lunches for them and things like that. And they are the young people, sometimes older people as well. Uh, they're the young people who are having a two-year training. Um, what's the word for it? I'm not sure if there is a word for it. Um, it's the evangelical equivalent of a seminary. What's so beautiful about it is, the way I see it, is it's taking two years out of your life, giving the first fruits of your adulthood to the Lord. I don't know whether it's still the same, but it used to be they preferred children to be 21. Everybody is highly educated um, and people from all over the world. And of course, there is a large Chinese contingent, uh, even in the UK. And they are mostly, in fact, if not all, highly educated to degree standard. It's just the way it is. And I think it's a beautiful thing that the Lord the Lord equips all of his children with everything they will need and um, even from, from the poorest and the most downtrodden of backgrounds, once you are taken under the Lord's wings, you find that not only that everything changes, but you're, you're no longer the bottom of the pile. Now, this is not to suggest that, the, to suggest that this Armana Trust is, is for the elite. It, it, it's nothing like that. You, you, you can go and you can spend two years in a seminary, in, in the seminary there, um, if you have no ability a academically. That's not the point. I'm just saying the overall impression is that the people who go there are educated to a high standard and then they take two years out of their lives before deciding which career they want to take, in which way they want to move. They then spend that time with the Lord. The other equivalent would be somebody educated up to only 16 in the UK, possibly 18, well, most ac academic places now go into 18, but we have a choice of leaving at 16 in this, in this part of the world. Um, and at 18, um, people would be choosing to go into work. There are various opportunities for apprenticeships and MVQs. And not necessarily, it's, it's not about the just getting a degree for a degree's sake, but it's about whether you choose to finish your education at 16, 18 or 21 instead of going straight into that world of work which you're going to have for the rest of your life and if it's a long one probably going to be 50 odd years before you do that to give the first fruits to god and it's a wonderful thing that you can only do once you cannot give the first fruits when you're in your 30s 40s or 50s that's a different journey so if there is any young people out there that are uncertain about which way to go with their future, then it might be a time to re reflect and to give some thought to giving the first fruits to God. Two years in this wonderful seminary training, which is a fantastic privilege. If you call yourself a Christian, if you want to deepen your Christian faith, and you have the courage to put the world on hold, just put it on hold and say, that will still be there for me after two years. But I want to spend this time deepening my knowledge and understanding first and my love for the Lord Jesus. Because in this ministry, Essentially what you will be doing is living, breathing, 
eating and drinking the word of God with like-minded people, young people, educated people, people who already love the Lord because they have been born again or from families who are born again, but all who have been called by the Lord and because they are called by the Lord, their hearts are full of love for him and no doubt he, by his Holy Spirit, has led them to spend two years with their brothers and sisters whom they have yet met. So that is a wonderful privilege for anyone so inclined. If you happen to be 18 and haven't decided whether you want university, whether you want to go into the world of work, whatever it is you want to do, a great time to sit and decide, to maybe give this time I would say to yourself, maybe God is calling you to spend two years just focusing, not on what you want out of life, not on what you want to do, or what you don't want to do. Maybe he's calling you to focus on him. So I would urge you to um, copy the link, I'll put the link in the description. And for anyone else, it's Armana Trust Radio. And you will find all the details on the Bauhaus and the training. And I do hope that you will spend some time in reflection as to why this may be a good thing for you. And I shall certainly be attending weekends and conferences there at the moment. And it's wonderful to see all the young people because the first thing, the first thing that strikes you is how wonderfully smart they are. You see the people of the Lord, the true saints. And as I say, if you use this link, you can make a phone call and come into contact with them and go to any church in any city and be welcomed. The church is usually in someone's home. It's a wonderful national link of born again Christians. The first thing that strikes you when you see all the young people, especially the so young and beautiful people of God at this um, training centre. It's a discipleship training, really. I think that's what they call it in America. It's a discipleship training. It's how smart they are. Um, the men in their blue suits, um, lovely navy suits, and the women wear... Um, lovely long skirts and wide blouses or short skirts to the knee and, and wide blouses um, and they just stand out from the crowd for their smartness, their beauty if you like, their natural beauty, their heads, that there's a deportment about the Lord's people that you cannot possess unless you have the Lord within you and I think it's certainly a very good thing that the ministry does encourage them to wear a uniform as such. Um, and of course, they, with living there, they are literally 24 hours able to speak with people who are also born again Christians. You, you will never get another chance like it. We are in the world, we live in the world, we are called to live in the world. We are not called to be cloistered away for our lives. But this is just two years. I've never had two years. Just a week at this place. And I didn't want to come back. It's, it's a week of heaven. As soon as I came back, we had to stop at a service station as we neared Leicester. And all of a sudden people were snarling, they were pushing and shoving at the counter. There was a rude remark to someone, just send me back, you know, send me back to Bower House. Um, so it's two years of living in an environment, living in an environment. I mean, I haven't been there for two years. Yes, there is work to do. Yes, you do go out, but there's not a lot. There's, there's, you don't stand on the streets with a placard around your neck, you know. 
but to spend those two years living with it. It's such a short time, really. You will never have that opportunity, well, rarely, to live with people who are born again and of your own age, going through the same things on the beginning of their journeys, overseen by the elders and getting to grips with the word of God. You will never have that experience again at such a young age. So I hope this has been useful. And to those people to whom I got the name wrong, it's Bauer House. And you will find it under Armana Trust Radio, which is the sister arm of the Living Stream Ministry. And take no notice of all the rubbish that's on there. Thank you. Bye now.